so basically it is the number of linearly independent uh, rows and columns present in the matrix so first of all uh, row of a rank is equal to row of a column number one number two by independent we mean that uh, any trans any linear transformation on one of the rows should not generate another row like one two three four five six uh, seven eight nine Right and row, right. You can add a uh, plus three to each of the value in the previous row. Uh, you will be getting uh, the next row. For example, if you add plus three to one, two, three, you are getting four, five, six, which is the next row. Hence, uh, here the second row is not dependent and not independent of the first row. Hence, this is what we are talking about. So, in linear independence, we means that the row column should not be able to. So, we can't should not be able to produce uh, the rows and columns by applying some linear transformation on other rows and columns. That is the rank of a matrix. It is the number of linearly independent rows and columns. Now, low rank what is low rank approximation? It is basically a minimization problem uh, where we are trying to transform a matrix of size A cross B of a certain rank R into a size of into another matrix of A cross B with rank R, where R is uh, where small R is less than big R. So we are making sense. We are keeping the dimension same, but we are trying to reduce the rank of the matrix. Now the next, the new matrix that we have got is the optimized version of the original matrix. Noise has been removed, and uh, the small r is decided by the user. So low rank, uh, low rank approximation is nothing but we are keeping the dimension of the data set same, but we are just changing the, uh, reducing the rank of the matrix, which has been reducing noise in the data set.